woman who's going to be sentenced today because she stabbed to death. She got involved in a fight that was involving uh, her son and another man. Marcus, what's going to happen? Hey, so 9.30 this morning, Karen, they're going to sentence that 70-year-old woman uh, for that fight that you mentioned that ended up leaving a person dead. It was a really bizarre string of events considering everything that was involved, but Renee DiPietro is 70 years old and was found guilty of stabbing 31-year-old Michael Sides with a 16-inch blade that she carried inside of her cane. And this was outside an Ardmore bar last June, and she was convicted in February. And as mentioned, we're going to learn her fate later today, just after 9 o'clock or so. Montgomery County prosecutors said she inserted herself into a fight between sides and her son and that the overwhelming video evidence of the crime ultimately led to the jury coming back with a guilty verdict and it took them just five hours to deliberate on that verdict. They came back guilty. That was back in February and here as we stand today, she will find out how long she will spend in prison. Renee, do you have any comment about the verdict? Yeah, it was wrong. If it was their yes. child, if it was their child, what would they do? Okay? Defense. You defend yourself. You actually defend yourself, self-defense, and then you get accused of something. The request of the jury was that uh, they believe that she was defending herself, and even if they didn't hold that belief, that even if she was mistaken about the right to defend herself, that would uh, lessen the charges somewhat. They thought about the self-defense argument, but they came to the correct result. Third-degree murder is what happened here. There was lots of evidence that the way she acted that night was not proportional to the threat she saw to her son, the things she did afterwards, such as hitting him when he's on the ground, not rendering aid, not calling 911, and peeling up that license plate to conceal her identity. It was clear that this is a woman who didn't care if Michael Sides lived or died. She was trying to get away with it. Yeah, I think those last uh, facts there that you that you heard that person talking about, you know, the fact that the license plate was removed, no attempt to revive uh, Mr. Sides at that point. So found guilty and then it will determine today around 9.30 or so uh, for sentencing how long she'll spend in prison. All right, thank you for being there, Marcus. We appreciate that, and you'll be there for when that occurs. 5.05.